Hey guys, so today we're gonna to be talking all about the linen suit. So last week we did a video on the essentials you needed for spring and the linen suit was one of those essentials. Now, guys, this isn't your first suit, nor probably your second or third suit. No. This, is, this is one, once you have the staples in your closet, like a good navy, a charcoal gray, and maybe one other one, this is, this is your summer suit when you just, when you have, you know, a few suits in the closet. Yeah, so this video, we're gonna tell you why to wear a linen suit, when to wear a linen suit, and a few things you should know about before you actually buy a linen suit. So why you buy a linen suit? One, because in the spring and summer, it is hot as hell outside, and linen is the most breathable fabric you can own in a suit, and it will keep you cooler than most. Now, there are some linen blends, cotton linen blends, that aren't gonna keep you as cool, but anything with a, at least a little bit or 50% linen is going to breathe a lot better than a wool or a cotton suit. Also, if you tend to sweat a little bit more, or you run extremely hot, and uh, you start swaying through the, the actual linen, it'll dry a lot faster opposed to like a cotton or, or a wool, I mean. Now, when to wear a linen suit? Uh, pretty much any outdoor event, anytime in the summer, so a wedding, there's like polo matches, derbies. I mean, if you're just going to brunch, anywhere outdoors that you wanna dress up but you don't wanna be like sweating your balls off, yes. linen is where to go. Yeah, anytime that you have to endure the heat for more than an hour or so and you need to wear a suit or you want to wear a suit, linen is your best option for that because you know, there's been so many times where we've been at, I've been at weddings and before I had a linen suit and I was like, people are like, how do you do it? I'm like, just suffer through it. Yeah, you're right. Like, that's all you can do. Well, I didn't own my first linen suit until I started going to the East Coast and I got to endure one of their humid as hell summers, dude. I'm talking about the, the insane humidity, like during, uh, Fl during uh, Florida and New York, it's super hot, fashion week. And um, I just got sick and tired of wearing my cotton, my cotton suits. and. So I went with linen and it was like a lifesaver, bro. Like literally a lifesaver. I remember there was there was one time we were we were filming something even in Calif in California here and I took my suit jacket off and my whole back was just like a, an outline of sweat. Yeah. So linen will definitely help with that situation. It's not gonna cure it. There's still gonna be a little bit of heat coming through, but it will definitely help. So there's also a few things you should know about you know, before you actually buy the, your, your first linen suit. Um, the biggest thing is that it's gonna wrinkle super quick, guys. Yes, I mean, it already, this is the second time I've worn this jacket and you can see the, the okay. wrinkles are coming. But now these wrinkles aren't like your typical, like you didn't iron it or you didn't, you didn't take it to the dry cleaner or you didn't steam it. This is more like your character build from actually wearing your linen suit. Right, I mean, anybody that knows what a linen suit is is going to realize that it wrinkles and no one is ever going to judge you for it because they realize you're just trying to beat the heat. So if you're a guy who really can't stand to have his outfit like wrinkled, we, we suggest you go with a linen blend, so cotton linen or a cashmere linen because that'll help lessen the wrinkle of the suit. So one other thing to note, once you get your linen suit and you've picked it out, is that it does expand when you're wearing it. So like the wrinkles, the, the fabric will stretch a little bit. So don't be afraid to tailor it a little bit slimmer than you would a wool because it definitely will stretch out a bit. And another thing to note is that linen is not the most formal of fabrics. Yeah, so you typically won't wear them to your galas or even to like your black tie events. Just stick to cotton or a nice cashmere. Exactly, and I mean, even, even if you get the classiest looking um, you know, double-breasted peak lapel suit, the fabric is just still gonna kinda hold it back just yeah. a little bit, and I think that's fun because, you know, even though Blake and I, like, if these were any other fabric, they would be like Wall Street, like very, and yes. you know, it kinda gives a little casual vibe, which yeah, is nice. And one more thing to note is that the fabric is a bit rough, so if you feel it, you'll understand. If you ever get close to any sharp objects or anything, be careful because it does snag super easily and you will notice the, the pilling kind of pop up once you snag it on something. So once again, guys, thanks for watching. If you have at least three suits in your closet, we recommend you know the fourth, fifth, or sixth one be a linen suit, especially if you live in hot weather some of the time. I mean, most summers are hot in America, but LA, it's hot constantly, so linen is kind of even more an option. 
But thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe, like us on Instagram at Jens Lounge, hashtag your pictures, hashtag Jens Lounge, and stay tuned for our next suiting video. Thanks, guys. Thanks.